Hey y'all, my name's Sparrow. My name's Keith. And we are the Resonant Rogues. We are a touring folk band out of Asheville, North Carolina. And we haven't been touring very much or playing out very much lately because of COVID-19. So we've had a little bit more time than usual on our hands. We've decided to take on this very large project. On all of our tours, we make adventure a really big priority. So even when we were touring in a van, we still made sure to stop and hike or go to the beach or do some camping. We've toured all over the world and all over the United States and have had some pretty epic experiences along the way. So we're really, really excited to see where this is gonna take us and to experience the quality of life upgrade on the road that it's gonna bring us to be able to stand up in our touring vehicle. So this won't be a true before tour because we've had this bus for a couple of months and we've been working hard every day on it. But we wanted to show it to you before all of the furniture got built in. So come see what we've been up to. space that we have to work with. We have just a little over a hundred square feet of build space. The bus is about seven and a half feet from side to side and then there's 15 feet from behind the driver's seat all the way to that back wall. The outside of this bus is only 22 feet long so it's only a few feet longer than our previous tour van which was a 12 passenger. We ended up doing a whole lot of research before we got this bus figuring out what exactly we wanted in a bus uh, for the size and for the engine, all of those details. And ultimately this was kind of our dream bus. We got a 98 Ford E450. It's got a Collins body. Uh, it's a 7.3 power stroke diesel engine. So every good bus deserves a good name and we decided to name our bus after a very good dog. The bus's name is Elmore. Named after Elmore the dog who lives with Penny, the human, who lives in Australia. And she was so kind as to house us pretty extensively while we were on tour in Australia last year. And we just appreciated her so much and really loved Elmore, her dog. So much so that we decided to name the bus after him. We thought it was a good name. I think it suits it. 